What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and it is almost Christmas time. And in uh, prep for that, I wanted to ask y'all, is the Grinch a furry? And if so, or if not, leave a comment. What's your answer? Give me an explanation before I talk, because I don't know. There's a couple things that you can think about here, and let's talk about them. So the Grinch is covered in fur, and he's got some weird characteristics that make him kind of look more like an animal than he does like a people. But one of the counterpoints is, is he exactly a furry? What does furry actually mean? Well, it means the enjoyment or the characteristics of anthropomorphism. And is the Grinch an anthropomorphic animal? Well, not really. And that's one of the biggest things that I would say it makes Grinch kind of not a furry. What animal is the Grinch based off of? What? Oscar. From Sesame Street? That's also not an animal. So I think that he's more classified as something like an alien. And that... I think makes sense because you don't often see people saying like a Wookiee is a furry. They're a different thing entirely. Is a Wookiee based on any particular animal? Is Bigfoot a furry? These are the hard hitting questions you come to my channel to answer. And honestly, I don't know because there's another counterpoint that actually is kind of intense that I think encompasses encompasses more furry characteristics than you might think. So while I would say that like, you know, there, there's a big trend of plane fursonas, like the airplanes, and are they furries? Well, they're not covered in fur, but they're still characters within the furry fandom. And it's because it's an anthropomorphized airplane. Well, the Grinch exists, and is he an anthropomorphized thing? Well, I'd say yes. I would say the Grinch is an anthropomorphization of the hatred of Christmas. In that story, he's used as a metaphor rather than an actual being. His character is an anthropomorphization of, you know, the concept of being a lonely, distant character in a world full of people who enjoy and celebrate. While the Grinch isn't like an anthro dog like I am, he is an anthro in some form, as a concept. And so if you take that a step further and decide that, hey, well, the Grinch is a metaphor for a concept of a type of person, well, then a lot of things become furries that I think always were. Whereas, like, a Wookiee isn't really an anthropomorphization of a concept, it just is something else. In the movie Inside Out, the characters are little creatures representing different emotions. Those are anthros as well. And so does that make it make more sense? Does that, does that make it make more sense? So like, are the characters in Inside Out furries? And so this broadens the, uh, the, the dynamic of what a furry actually is. Because it's not all just fursuits and canines, it's a big idea. And I think that when it's used in a way to help portray a story, which is what the root of furry was all about, and like even anthropomorphization as a concept, as storytellers, I think it helps you, I think it helps bring out the furriness of the Grinch. So, yes, I would say the Grinch is a furry. However, the counterpoint is still true. He's just a different type of creature who lives in Whoville. Who knows what planet Who Town is in? Whoville. It's Whoville. Who knows what planet Whoville is on? Like, it could be anywhere in the universe. It's not anywhere I've seen on Earth, that's for sure. So, that's kind of my thoughts on if the Grinch is a furry or not. Uh, leave your comments below. I would love to hear about them. Uh, if you like this video, actually like it. Make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm trying out this new thing where I do outro segments for my videos so I can talk about stuff for the last 30 seconds of the video. Um, so like, subscribe, uh, become a patron, uh, donate to me and the various, there's a join button like down there, like join. That's new.